Hello, how's it going today? I'm back here on the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail for part eight. And I'm gonna pick up where I left off here on the seventh line of Beckwith and uh, continue on this way. It's uh, kind of starting to freeze rain on me here a bit. We've had some freezing rain in the past couple of days, but uh, that's okay. I got my boots on and uh, let's go enjoy this trail. So with the freezing rain that we've had the past uh, couple of days, all the trees have been uh, covered in a layer of ice, which actually does make it uh, really pretty. Um, I don't expect to see any snowmobilers out today, um, just due to the weather, but I figured that it would be a nice chance to uh, not have to worry about snowmobilers and uh, just enjoy the trail. And, you know, just a reminder to uh, always be safe when it comes to anything covered in ice or going out anywhere where there's ice. Um, you know, you don't want to fall through any ice or slip and fall and hurt yourself. So just something to be mindful of. And I'm just coming up to this farm here and I see in the distance there's some beautiful horses. Let me see if I can zoom in and and get a photo of them or they're a little far away. There they are. gonna go over here for a second. Someone has made a birdhouse. That's very nice. It's the first time I've seen that on this trail. I hope to see more. Very nice that people uh, do that for the birds. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, Brandon, what on earth are you doing out there in the middle of freezing rain? And I say, it's Canada. Deal with it. <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, a lot of the other parts of this trail have been with snowmobilers and lots of snow. And I thought I want, you know, I wanted to show you guys something different for, uh, for this video. And it certainly is different out here with all the, uh, ice covered trees and everything. So, you know what, it's Canada, it's the weather we get and uh, I'm just gonna deal with it. Well, we're coming up to another sign here that I think is part of the old railway system. A little bit out of shape. <laughs> well, more than a little. And it's got the number 13 on it. I've seen one before that had the number 12, so it must be mile markers. Well, this is going to be a nice short little uh, part of the trail today. I can already see. Uh, the next road that we're coming up to. Beautiful what uh, ice does to the trees. It just gets covered and it's very beautiful. Okay, so I was mistaken from way back where I was. 
I thought this was the next trail crossing, but it's not. It's just another area here where another trail, a snowmobile trail, links up with this one. Interesting. No problem. We'll keep on going. And actually, here's a sign that shows us how far away we are from some, uh, some places around the area. So we're actually coming up on Carlton Place. It's not that far away. We'll probably get there in our next video. Okay, so there is a road over there actually, and that's the eighth line of Beckwith. So this makes sense. If they're planning maybe in the future to extend the eighth line that way. Makes sense why there's two gates here. Okay, so we're going to uh, continue on to the ninth line of Beckwith. It's looking over here at uh, these trees and you can kind of hear all the ice falling off of them. Very pretty out here, I will say. Lots of different types of weather we get out here in Canada. All right, so we're just uh, continuing on here, and I just noticed that the trail is actually taking kind of a significant curve uh, off that way. This is the first time that I've really seen a significant curve take place on the trail, because it's, it's mostly been straight. So we're uh, almost in Carlton Place. We won't get there on this video, uh, but uh, perhaps in part nine, we'll, uh, we'll get to Carlton Place. Almost at the uh, ninth line of Beckwith here, and I'm coming up on this uh, beautiful old barn. That uh, looks like someone's property, but there, this barn is huge, and it's really pretty with all the snow and ice all over it. Let's see if I can get a good photo of it here. And there it is, very, very pretty. walking a couple more feet here and this is actually the stone fields where they have weddings and events and there is actually a very nice church over there as well and there's another nice view of it there very pretty okay so that's the end of today's journey we are here at the ninth line of Beckwith at the trail crossing. Uh, we've actually come up to Black's Corners in Beckwith Township. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this leg of the journey. Bit uh, different weather than uh, we've seen on this trail before. But uh, you know what, that's Canada for you. All right, so that's the end of part eight and uh, we're gonna continue part nine off, off that way there. And in part nine, I hope to uh, get to Carlton Place. One thing that I'm going to be doing uh, again is uh, adding total kilometers walked uh, in 2024. Um, so keep an eye out for that at the end of each video, because um, I'll be updating you with, uh, with that as well. So yeah, thanks for coming along with me on every journey that uh, you've come along with me on. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you at the next one.